Today we'll be taking a look at Paul Heyman's comments on Bray Wyatt. The latest update on a potential TV-14 rating for WWE, Drew McIntyre, and much more. Let's start things off with a TV-14 rating talk. What's the story there? Well, this conversation all started after Russell Votes, respectable WWE insider, reported what they heard about the plans for the new version of WWE NXT. They had this to say, quote, Within the origins of this NXT 2.0 concept was an idea that the program's rating would shift from TV PG to TV 14. Sources confirm that this is still very much on the table and USA Network is not opposed if when WWE decides to make the change is TBD. End quote. So WWE made this big drastic change to the NXT product in an attempt to liven things up a bit, give it a fresh new look and fresh feel, both visually and talent-wise. And so far, so good. There's definitely several bright spots about the new NXT. Mandy Rose and her Toxic Attraction faction definitely top the list as some of the biggest stars from the new version of NXT. Mandy Rose went back to NXT, reinvented herself, led a faction to carry all the women's titles, and is now one of the faces of NXT. Then you have the young and up-and-coming Braun Breaker, who's also been a massive success so far, and no doubt has a serious future ahead of him. Braun has been well-received by both WWE and by the fans, so he's another one that could really take off and put NXT on his back in the coming months. Then you also have new stars like Solo Sokoa that we've talked about a handful of times. The younger brother to Jimmy and Jay is also bringing in some eyes and attention, fans even claiming that Solo reminds them of some of his family's late great legends such as Umaga. And that really was what WWE had in mind for this new version of NXT. A big part of the conversation was age. They wanted to move away all from the late 30s talent in NXT and try to get more early 20s talent on display. And we're starting to see that shift to a much younger roster for NXT. And with the younger roster, a big thing that was reported was that WWE allegedly wanted to increase their younger viewership as well. It was reported that they wanted a new NXT to be appealing and be the trendy show for the younger demographic. And one of the ideas to make that happen was that they haven't exactly pulled the trigger on yet shifting to a TV 14 rating. Of course, switching from PG to 14 may not be the biggest drastic change in most people's eyes, but in WWE's universe, it's probably been well over a decade since they had the show be consistently TV 14. They made a switch in the early 2010s to be more family oriented and that's when they made that permanent change to go to a PG rating. But now, it seems like the conversation for NXT is to go to TV-14 is starting to really pick up. Like WrestleVote said, USA Network apparently sees no issues with the rating change, and they're all on board for it. They're just waiting for WWE to make the final call, because it's their decision to make it after all. Switching to TV-14 isn't going to make NXT's ratings skyrocket overnight, no one's saying that. But in the long run over time, it can really help out the product. There'll be a little bit more wiggle room for edgier content and edgier storylines that we probably wouldn't even see on Raw or SmackDown. And once they get those storylines rolling, momentum picks up. It spreads through word of mouth or social media, then maybe people will start gravitating towards NXT to see what the hype is all about. So, it's been a great change for NXT so far, and if they do eventually make the TV-14 change happen, maybe it can really continue to put the show on a great direction. Let's get into everything Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman related. Heyman was recently interviewed by Squared Circle Pit, and he went into detail about what Roman will do to Big E and also took a look back at everything Roman has done during his reign so far. Paul Heyman had this to say, quote, I don't really assume Roman Reigns is going to win. I will speak about this as if the finish is predetermined. Roman Reigns is going to smash Big E, and that's not an assumption, a presumption, 
or even a prediction. It's a spoiler. Big E is great, and probably the second most formidable talent in all of WWE, hence the fact he's the WWE Champion, and he's going to get his behind kicked. He's going to get smashed. He's going to get smashed by Roman Reigns, and there's no shame in being smashed by Roman Reigns. Look who's being smashed by Roman Reigns in the last 12-14 months. The Fiend was smashed by Roman Reigns and is gone from WWE. Braun Strowman was smashed by Roman Reigns and is gone from WWE. Kevin Owens was smashed by Roman Reigns. Edge and Daniel Bryan smashed by Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, stacked on top of each other in the most declaratively dominant pinfall in the history of WrestleMania main events. Cesaro smashed by Roman Reigns. Edge again in a singles match smashed by Roman Reigns. Daniel Bryan smashed by Roman Reigns and banished from SmackDown in the process. John Cena smashed by Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. And then at Crown Jewel, Brock Lesnar of all people, Brock Lesnar smashed by Roman Reigns in Saudi Arabia. Big E, great talent, amazing. Nobody on Raw can touch him. Anybody that goes up against Big E on Raw is going to see their behinds handed to them. Big E is going to get his behind kicked and smashed at Survivor Series, and there's no shame in it." End quote. So Paul Heyman is definitely the hype man that you want on your side. He definitely knows how to hype things up, even through his spoiler prediction was pretty one-sided. He's going with Roman Reigns, and it's not even close. He did say that Big E would dominate everyone on Raw, but a matchup with Roman Reigns is the only one that he loses. What also caught fans' attention was Paul Heyman bringing up Bray Wyatt and this theme of people leaving WWE after facing Roman Reigns. Paul Heyman, Bray Wyatt, and Daniel Bryan being the biggest names of Roman's victims list that left WWE. Technically, the tribal chief of Roman Reigns and The Fiend were both in one match together, and that was Payback 2020. It was a triple threat match, and Roman pinned Strowman for the universal title that he has right now, even though The Fiend was technically the champion. We were supposed to see an actual feud and a one-on-one -on -one match between Roman Reigns and The Fiend. WWE even began the story and hinted at it in several ways, but ultimately decided to scrap the feud. No one knows why it was cancelled exactly, but maybe it had something to do with the fact that The Fiend was going to lose the match and they just didn't want to give him another loss. So yeah, for Heyman to say that Bray Wyatt was a victim is a bit iffy because they obviously never faced off one another for that title, and Roman pinned Strowman for that title. So as far as who's next for Roman, everyone is looking at Drew McIntyre. Drew has been teasing the match for a long time and has been waiting for it for a while. But during a recent interview, he did tell everyone to just pump the brakes on it and that it will happen when the time is right. So that's something to look forward to there as well for Roman Reigns. So maybe there's a story we do see after Survivor Series or even around Royal Rumble time. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.